Hi, thanks for joining me for another video of another one of my creations. This is a toilet paper roll mini album that I made. Um, tried to do something a little different with it. Went with it um, vertically instead of horizontally, as you can see. Um, had to make the tags a little bit skinnier in order to do that. Um, covered the toilet paper roll on the front and the back with some Tim Holtz vintage um, paper. Actually, I think I did all of them. Not vintage paper, um, vintage photo. And um, sealed it with some wax. And it looks a lot like leather. On the side, there's all kinds of stuff hanging off. Feathers and lace and ribbons and seam binding. Um, some little shiny beads, just whatever I have have in my scrap jar. I always try to go to my scrap jar first. It's a little Tim Holtz uh, flower. And I made the um, the dangle out of just some beads and stuff that I had. Um, on the front there's a Tim Holtz um, book plate. On the inside I covered the prongs of the book plate with just some paper right there. You could take it off if you wanted to. And then there's just a blank page with a duck spot. And on each tag, I did another dangle of some sort, again, just with scraps. And tried to put um, some places to journal inside the tag, tuck spots. Each tag has um, two tuck spots. And I put some tabs on there, too. That strip you see on the bottom is to hold the tag in the toilet paper roll so it doesn't fall out. The um, papers that I used, again, were just scraps that I had. There's another tag. Made the tags out of chipboard and then covered them with paper. Reinforced the holes with some Tim Holtz hole reinforcers. And the rest of the little toilet paper roll book is pretty much the same. Another page with a tuck spot. Another toilet paper roll, another tag, another dangle, and another little spot for journaling. And again, this is just truly um, all put together just with odd bits and pieces that I have. I try not to throw stuff away, I try to reuse it. the toilet paper roll, another tag, another tuck spot, tag inside there, journaling paper inside there. I reinforced the top of the tags with some, um, I think I got them at Michael's, just little metal rivets. This one, the tuck spots on the left. It's hard to point out differences when there really aren't that many. Another toilet paper roll, another tag, another tuck spot. I really like um, that little tree, so I put a little fence down there. And I didn't seal the end of it because this little piece of paper wouldn't fit in there if I did. I only put wax on the front and back toilet paper rolls. I wasn't sure um, 
I just wasn't sure whether I wanted to do it all the way through or not. I still might. I know sometimes I go back to my my artwork and I, I add things or change things up. So that's one thing that I might do. I think we're coming to the end now. This one doesn't even have a tuck spot. I think that was such a smaller piece of paper and I couldn't even make one. And you can see it almost looks like leather when you put that wax on it. It's just amazing. Um, and I just use a, a furniture wax. It's what I seal a lot of my stuff with. I love the way it makes things look. Gives it a nice shine. You can really see how it looks like leather on the back there. Isn't that something? So that's um that's it, my little book, my little um, junk journal tag book made out of all leftovers and bits and bobs from my stash. I'm telling you, these little books are so addictive. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I have a couple more videos I can put up soon.